Hello friends, you are welcome to Queen's Fashion World. I want to specially thank my subscribers. Thank you so very much for all your support. I'm so excited today. We just hit 1.4k subscribers. It's all because of you. So today with a grateful heart, I want to reveal one of my important uh, method of how to cut a six pieces skirt with a dart. Whenever I'm very happy, I always use this method to cut six pieces skirt. If I'm not in a hurry and I'm so excited, this is the method I use to cut six pieces skirt and it always comes out to be a very good one. So today, stay with me. Let me show you measurements on the measurement I'll be using for this six pieces skirt today. So I have a measurement guide to show you. You measure from your waist to your hip length. I have nine inches here. Yeah? You measure from your waist to knee length. I have 20 inches. Then you measure the full length of the skirt. Here is 42 inches. Then you measure the waist circumference. I have 35 inches here. Yeah? You measure the hip circumference. I have 46 inches. So these are the measurements I will be using to draft this skirt today. So before you cut your six pieces skirt, there are some things you should also consider. You have to fold your fabric into two. This paper is on fold now. The center piece first. That is how I cut my six pieces skirt. And also know the person's nipple to nipple measurement. It's what I will use to cut the center piece. Or you can measure what I call lap to lap always rhyme with the lap to lap except depends the shape of the person if the bust shape and the hip is summer maybe the person is too busty and the hip is small then in that case you have to take the lap to lap so how to know the size of your fabric to fold when you know the nipple to nipple this person's nipple to nipple is eight inches so I will add a one inch to it. That is nine inches. Now, how to know your fabric to fold. If you are using a nine inches for the nipple to nipple, you are going to double the fabric into two and add like two inches to it. That is nine inches times two. The center piece is on fold. You are going to divide the nine inches into two which is four and a half. But when it comes to this, the size of fabric to use, don't divide it into two. Use the nine, or if it's 10, use the 10, and also add some inches to it, like two inches or three inches, depends the size of the person, and also how big the fabric is. So these are the things you should consider. Now I have a line, this is my starting point here. Yeah? This is the waist line, and from this waist line, I have a hip line here, hip length. My hip length there is 9 inches, but I marked uh, 10 inches here because I will sew half inch. This skirt will be full lining. I'm going to line this skirt with a uh, full lining. So I will use half inch to sew the upper part and also lap the waist. It's a low waist skirt. So that is why I'm marking. 10 inches here. Then I have the knee length. The knee length, this line here, I want you to ignore it. The knee length is supposed to be 20 inches, but I marked say 21. So I'm using this one, this one here. I see. So my marker stand this one first. Then if I go down, I have a, the full length of the skirt. The full length of the skirt is 42 inches. So I added a, 3 inches to it to make it 45. Now, if this person is not a tall person, I would have loved to add three and a half inches to it. Whenever I'm using a full lining on a six pieces skirt, I always add a three and a half inches to the length from the down, both the down and the up to give me a good finishing. But because the length of Ankara is 45 and the person's length is already 42 inches, so I marked uh, 
I marked uh, 45 inches here, yeah? this half inch, and I just marked it to show you in case the person is shorter than this, you can make it three and a half inches. So I hope my explanation is clear. Now we'll go ahead and mark the nipple to nipple right now. From so nipple to nipple is nine inches. Sorry, nipple to nipple is eight inches. So because of six pieces, I'm using nine inches, half inch to join it. So I'll go ahead and mark my so I'll go ahead and mark it like this. Nine inches divided by two, that is four and a half. Because it's on fold, so I'm using the four and a half. I'll go ahead and mark it up to the knee. Then I'll rule a straight line, like so. Up to the knee. Now, another thing to do from the knee, you know the shape of a, the female shape. If you watch the way a woman is, the hip is there, is big, but the knee is very small. So you have to give it a good shape. You take away half inch. So from this knee, you take away half inch. I want beginners to understand it very well. That is why I first of all mark this line. You take away half inch like this. And you give it a, let me use a dot to connect my hand. I also mark half inch here. So you find a way to blend it before your hip. You find a way to blend it and stop before your hip. Let me draw it. I'll use this shape now. I see the line. So this will be the six pieces shape. I'm trying to blend it well so that it will not be, I want it to be smooth. Because I'm going to sew it all through. Now, how to get the down part of your skirt. The down part of your skirt. Here is a 9 inches divided by 2. So the down now, remember it's on fold. So if I'm using a 9 inches, this is what I will get. That is 9 inches times 2. Alright? But in this case, I will also... Let me mark 9 inches for you to see. Then I will add 2 inches to it. That is, I'm using 11 inches. If you want your skirt to be full, you have to use like this, 9 inches times 2. Then you add 2 inches to it. If it's a nipple to nipple that you use the upper part to be 8 inches, then you use 8 inches times 2 and add 2 inches to it. But if the fabric is small, please, you can reduce it. So you have to decide, when you check the fabric, you have to decide what to do. Now I'm going to connect this line. I'll look for a way to connect it. This part, let me use my free hand. It's better for me this way. I think I should use a ruler. The shape is not coming out well. Let me use the ruler. I don't want it to have a bag. That's to have a A shape. Are you seeing the shape? See what uh, the dots gave me. But this one now is better. I don't want it to have a bag. Sometimes when you sew six pieces, you just see the line like a bag. I don't want it, so I'm using this one, this line here. And this part, you have to blend it. Don't allow it to be too sharp. You have to blend this part very well so that it will not be too sharp. Then you also connect it to the hemline. This is the hemline. 
the sewing allowance. So I'm going to cut it out. You see how beautiful the skirt is now? Let me cut the center piece out. Cut from the down. I will take away this half inch because of the Ankara fabric is 45. So this half inch will not go well for me. But if the person is not too tall, I will advise you to use the three and a half inches for him. So this is our center piece. If I open it, see how beautiful this is. This is, this is full. This one is a full six pieces get. But if your fabric is small, you can reduce it. Just take the decision. Depends the amount of fabric you have there. Now, how to get the side. So I like the back piece to be the last place to cut. So that by that time you can let her know your fabric if you are to add more flay to the back. So now when I'm cutting it with Ankara, this is the Ankara I want to use for this six pieces I see now. I can change the head of this Ankara, cut this side and bring it down to this side to cut just like I want to do here now. Just like I'm doing here now. You know the first center part, I cut it like this. So I have more fabric, this upper part now, because of the, the 8 inches that we use while here and we will double it. So now to cut the second one, I like to change the head like this. I like to change it like this, I see now. Whenever I'm cutting a six pieces on a fabric, this is what I do to save more fabric. So for you to save your fabric, you have to turn the head to this side. But let me explain something to you so that if you have this kind of a fabric, you know how to cope. If you're using a fabric that has a flower design, are you seeing this one is standing like a tree? You cannot change the head like this, as I'm doing, please. In that case, you have to reduce here. Make it small, don't make it too big. Because you keep cutting one way like that, you will not change the head to this upper part. If you have a fabric that has a standing design, you have to set the design. Are you seeing this fabric? Are you seeing? You have to set it like this. You cannot turn it like this, upside down, please. Whenever you're cutting a six pieces, those are the things you should check. Now I have a lace material with me in case you're using it for a lace and you have a lace that has a standing flower like this, then you must cut it one way like that. Don't turn the head of this, uh, the, the six pieces. Don't turn it upside down like this. So you should always check your fabric before cutting. So if you know the fabric has a standing design, meaning that the six pieces can don't make it to be too full because you have a problem there. Um, depends the size of the person. So having said that, I'm going to cut this now. I will find a way to secure it with pin first. So I just finish uh, securing it with pin now. I want to cut the side now. I I just place the center piece on the pattern to cut the side. So to make it fast, this is what I normally do. I'll just cut it out like this. Cut it out like so. So I can stop here. I've already pinned like half half inch. Let me position this pin well. Like half half inch, as if I'm sewing it now. So I'll just go ahead and turn this paper like this. You know this is paper. So how to get the side measurements? I just secure it with pin. Are you seeing now? The center piece. So I flip it this way. This half inch inside that I pinned here is what I will use to join the six pieces. So I just extend the lines now. This is the hip line and this is the knee line so that I will know. So this is the starting point, which is the waist. My waist measurement, the circumference is 35 inches. 35 inches divided by four. Now you have to divide it by four because we've gotten the center piece. It's the front I'm trying to cut to achieve now. So you divide it, when it's like this, you divide it into four. So that will give me eight three quarter. I will mark my eight three quarter like this. Then I will add a two inches sewing allowance. Since we've already pinned this place, 
you can add one and a half inch if you're really sure for your measurement but me let me use two inches because it's it's pattern let me use two inches because i will add a that to this skirt i'll go ahead and add one inch to the waist measurement normal that one inch so now how to get the hip the hip circumference is a 46 46 divided by 4 that will give me 11 and a half inches i'll go ahead and mark 11 and a half inches like this then i will add my two inches sewing allowance the that will not get up to here so the knee now you can measure your knee you can measure your knee or you calculate it when taking the measurement for the skate you can measure the person's knee or you calculate it the knee is smaller than the hip with two inches on fold you will get a fine shape because of the way the knee is so how to get your knee perfectly you can remove two inches from the hip measurement you can just remove two inches or one and a half inches so this uh, hip measurement you just place your tape to get the hip measurements and remove uh, one and a half this one is one and a half here yeah? i'm marking so you connect your hand from this point to your hip measurement like this i see now see the shape this is one and a half if the person is a young person you can reduce it by two inches but this is one and a half this place is a 12 one quarter why this one is a 13 a three quarter so i take away one and a half inches from it now i will look for a way to connect it to my hip i will connect it to my waist measurements the that measurement i see now so this so now that i've gotten the waist and the the knee the hip so I will take away this pin now. I've gotten my measurements now. The front. So I will move these pins and bring back my center piece like this. This one is center front. This is my center front. I will place it like so. From this knee now. So you see, I'm going to cut from this waist to this place, but I want it down to get this shape so that the, the A will line together. I don't want some side to enter than the some side. So I'll just cut my skirt like this from the upper part. When I get to this point, When I get to this point, I will try to get this shape here. So this is the side piece. So see how beautiful the six pieces is now now we are to get this part now this is the side piece and to get it four like this because of zip this skirt is going to be seven pieces but because of zip people don't like to add rope to their skirt in most cases so we'll call it a six pieces why the seven pieces the back will be four piece pieces so i'm going to cut the back center front for you to see now before i will move to the that i will use this one to trace four like this that is one for the right side one side one for the back right and for the left side so four pieces okay so you see i just pin the front piece back i just pin the front piece back i need to show you two things before i move to the back pattern so the waist remember i didn't mention anything like a waist bind because this skirt is a low waist skirt 
there will be no bind. It's not a high wear skirt. There will be no bind on it. So if there will be no bind, I need to slant the waist. So this is what I normally do. From the center front, are you seeing now? From the center front, I will mark one and a half inches like this. So I'll just mark one and a half inches and slant my, let me use free hand wheel. So you make sure you stop before the, the waist measurement. This is the waist measurement, this is the sewing allowance, this is the dart measurement. But I will stop before the waist. So like this. The waist slanting is only in front, don't slant the back. But for now, I'm not going to cut it out. I just mark this uh, marker for you to see. Because I like joining the six pieces everything before I will slant this waist. So when I join the fabric before I will slant this waist, I just mark it for you to see. If you want to cut it, you can cut your own. Then another thing I need to do again is the down. Remember this is the side. Hmm? This is the center front. So this one is the side now. I will go in by two inches or one and a half inches. Let me use one and a half like this. So I will just connect my hand from this one and a half to slant the down like this. I see. Just to give it a round shape for the flay to form well so instead of here to point out you have to carve it slant it like this but for this one i can cut it out i can cut this one out like this okay i see the beauty now it's better like this but for this i'm not going to cut it out so let me move to the back now so to cut the back now, I just change the paper. I turn the head. Instead of cutting it like this, if I cut like this, I will waste more fabric. So I just change it the, the same thing I did in front. So I just change it like this. This way you save more fabric. So this line here, so this line here is the back piece now for the zipper allowance. Because of zip, this back will be four pieces. So for me to mark this back now, depends how big your fabric is. You can extend the allowance to get more flay at the back, to add tail to the back, depends how big your allowance. But if it's a fat person, someone that is too big, fat, don't, don't add more this thing. Just go ahead and add a one and a half inches for zipper. Let me mark the one and a half inches now to show you. This is the zipper allowance, one and a half inches. I mark it to this. I will connect this line, the hip line, like this, and the knee line, like so. This end line, I don't really need to connect it. This is the important line. I just changed my marker, please, pardon me. The other marker is fainting, so I just changed the marker here. So this is my hip line now. Now this one is the zipper allowance. Are you seeing now one and a half inches? So you connect it to the nail like this. Now, having done this, you can now decide if no more fabric, you can still use this one and a half inch till the down. But because I have more fabric for this person, you can extend this down to be five inches. You can extend it to be six inches. You can extend it to be seven inches. I will use like seven inches for this one. So, how to get the shape at the down part? Now, to give that a butt shape, I will take away half inch from the knee. So instead of me to follow this, zipper allowance i'll go in by half inch and connect it i'll just blend my my marker try to connect and stop before the hip like two inches before the hip so you blend it and stop before the hip i see now 
So now I have to get it down for it to flow if you are not using the one and a half. Okay, let me mark the same one and a half inches too. Like if you're a beginner, I want beginner to understand it properly. So let me follow the step like so. So this is my zipper allowance. Now I'm to connect my hand from this shape now. You know, I took away half inch from here and to connect my marker like this and blend it to this one and a half inches. I think. So if you don't have more fabric, this is what you have to do. You connect it like this. This will be your zipper allowance. Just blend it well. Blend it well until you use your eye to check and know that it's fine. So this is the one to use instead of this. Now, but if you have more fabric, you can now extend this back. You can use 5 inches, you can use 6 inches, you can use 7 inches. I want this one to flow, so I'm using 7 inches here. So 7 inches, I will find a way to connect my... This is 7 inches like this. You place your ruler. You have to trace it to this part, this angle. So always use your eye to measure whenever you are cutting something or drafting. As a tailor or fashion designer, you need to use your eye to measure when connecting it. I can use a dot line to just blend it like this because that one is not going well for me, please. Let me use my dot line like so. I think it's better for me this way. I love the shape I'm seeing now. So I've gotten the shape at the back. If you have extra fabric, or you can even add more. If it's a boy for Ankara, please don't add too much. So now that I've finished adding the zipper allowance, I can now cut it out like so. So I finished cutting this side now. It's the zipper allowance I'm cutting now. So remember is to follow this line and follow this one. But if you don't have enough fabric, you can use this one, the one and a half inches. It will still be okay. So this is the back piece now. So now this is my center piece. I always notch the zipper allowance like this. Now I'm to use this one now to cut two pieces. I'll cut another one for the zipper. Remember it's four piece. Then I'll use this one to cut four, two for front, two at the back. Now let's move to the dots. Now I told you the six pieces get with that. So how to mark the dots? Now you know our normal that you can use five inches, you can use six inches. This skirt is a lower skirt, there will be no band on it. So I'm going to use five inches uh, that depends on the person. So I will mark my five inches this way. And now I will sew the waist and turn. So let me use a six inches in fact. Let me use six inches because it's full lining. So I will mark my six inches that. Then the center, the back center, I'm going to mark uh, five inches or five and a half. I'm using five because the dart in front and at the back is not the same. So now how to mark the dart, you take away half inch. You take away half inch like this. I will just use a dotted line to connect the dots. I see. Now make sure you blend it well. Don't allow it to be too sharp. You blend it before the hip. Let me see my hip line. Okay, this is my hip line. So you have to stop. Don't allow it to get to the hip line. This is the 5 inches. So this is the back. This is the front that. Then at the back also, you take away the half inch. That is our normal that. Oh. Let me use my ruler. You 
just find a way to blend it like this. Don't stop immediately. Look for a way to blend it. Because it sees this is your so stretch. So now the side. The side, the two sides that will go to the front. I don't have enough paper to cut this for to display to you. So I want to explain. And I believe you will understand it. So this is the back that. This is the front that. Now these two pieces that will go to the front. I will use the same that measurement. I can just place it and cut. Then the other two pieces that will go to the back. I will just use this same measurement, place it and cut. That way it will run. You take two to the front, take two to the back. I hope it's clear. Let me cut the back out now and place it for you to see what I mean. I see the shape of the six pieces now. This is the back that I've cut it out also. So I see the shape. So I'm to place this front now. I will put two pieces i'll just place two pieces of this assume that that is the front yes i'll place it like so and also remove the that you know i added allowance to replace the that one inch so you don't have a problem with that your measurement will still be okay then i'll pick the other two pieces and place this back because the back that and the front that is not the same length the front is six inches the back is five inches i've done that i will now take this patterns to cut on my fabric to cut on my fabric to get the six pieces i hope you understand what i'm saying so i just finished cutting it out on my fabric now the main fabric that i will use for the pieces for the six pieces so this is the center piece remember i said you have to place it and cut the this is two pieces that will go with the front I want beginners to understand that is why I'm doing all of this uh, process. I'm following all of this process. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. The dart now is the dart I'm removing now. So these two will go with the front, the center front, like this. Let me keep it aside. This is another two that will go with the back. So you remember, will not uh, zipper allowance. So you have to use this side that has a dart and place it like so and cut your dart out let me secure it with a pin so i finish cutting the the back you see what i have here now i remove the dart this is the center back i also remove the dart so this is the secret to my C species because I'm so excited today, I decided to share this with you. If you share this video and like, also like this video, that way you make YouTube to understand that I'm giving a valuable content to the world. So they will keep bringing my video for others to see. Please, I need your support. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe. I have more to bring to you on this channel. I am sure you will not regret it. Thank you so very much. God bless you for your support. So make sure you watch the sewing of this skirt. It's going to be, there will be a full lining on it. I'm going to show you the perfect way to lining six pieces. So make sure you watch the video. Thank you.